will be the largest group of assembled fans in the Western Hemisphere. That's why they need a big house. Welcome to Ann Arbor, home of the Michigan Wolverines. Today, we have one of those games that tests your focus. Top 25 team against an unranked opponent. Can you take care of business? As we'll see a squad from the Mountain West, the Fresno State Bulldogs, taking on the ninth-ranked team in the land, the Michigan Wolverines. For EA Sports College Football, I'm Reese Davis, David Pollock, and Jesse Palmer with me. Guys, it's time to get it going. Fresno State will kick it off, and we will be underway. On the run from inside his own five. Not a lot of space to be found. Good hustle by the coverage team, and they stop him at the 21. The Wolverines offense takes the field for the first time today. Here he comes, and obviously a defense is always going to be aware of a quarterback, but boy, he finds a way to put defenses on their heels all the time, David. I mean, what can't he do? He's got the weapons, he's got the confidence, he's got the experience. Jesse, these kind of guys are so hard to defend. You're right. They better be able to find a way to get pressure on him, because if they don't, this is going to be a long day. Halfway there on first down, it's second and five. Just feeds the running back. And he was able to shed a tackle and pick up the first down before they finally get him on the ground. Those who stay will be champions, so said Bo Schembechler, and those who keep it on the ground churn out first downs. Yeah, it's, it's because it's a way of life, right? It's that physicality. It's going to be hard in practice all week. When you're at Michigan, it's going to be grind. It's going to be physical. That's who they are. They won't compromise. And if you get to stick around here recently, a lot of success, too. He's dropped behind the line of scrimmage. That'll be a loss of three. And defense nowadays, they don't look at stats of what is the yards per rush. They look at how many negative plays they can create. Because why? Now you look at second down, man, it just became very predictable for this offense. Nice job creating the loss on first down. They'll leave it with him. Defense there to stop him after a two-yard gain to the 31. This offensive line better figure out a plan for this deep tackle. He is tough to block with one guy. You might want to start double teaming him. He's going to be a problem moving forward. You saw all of his ability on that last play. Now facing a third and long. To the air, it's Orgy. Got away from trouble and got rid of it. Hines is back in the middle. They're able to get him stopped just shy of the first down marker. One of the things I love about this defense is they just have such great awareness, and they're always communicating. They understood the down and distance. They knew exactly what they needed to do to make the tackle to force the punt. That is so well done. And the Wolverines will call on their punt team, getting our first look of the afternoon at the punter. Looking for a block. It's Moss. He'll get it to about the 25 before they put a stop to the return. So the Fresno State Bulldogs offense will have its first possession of the game. And if these two guys wind up getting matched up, David, we'll see what wins, speed or force. Yeah, and you love to be physical and set the tone, and this linebacker does that consistently. Now, Jesse, keeping up with the speed on the other side, that's a different hill. Might be different, but we're going to see this receiver work underneath on some drag routes. You better be careful. You do not want to get caught in the wash against this linebacker. This crowd trying to make life miserable for this offense. They'll ride the running back and leave it with him. He's dropped behind the line of scrimmage. That'll be a loss of three. Well, they're trying to get that run play going to the outside, but it's the defensive end who does a great job winning his one-on-one -on -one and forcing the negative play. Decibels rising as the crowd gets behind this defense on third down. He'll try to pop the draw. And he's not going to get there. The defense stands tall and makes the stop.
Fresno State will have to punt it away. They'll work to pin him deep. And they'll get him on the ground as the offense comes out to start the next drive. Okay, so here comes the offense returning to the field. They'll try the right side. Not much doing there. He gets it to the 26, a gain of one. I like feeding my guy. I like getting my running back touches, feeding the ball so he can break some of those big runs. But I'm also okay with these little ones. Set the tone, stay balanced. Didn't get much on first down. It's second and nine. Back to throw. It's Orgy. Got his man down the middle. They make the stop, trying to pick up just a little bit at a time to get to that first down marker. I love early in the game getting my quarterback in a rhythm. Coming out, short passes, easy completions. Now we're getting in a good spot. It's offense looking at a third down after that last completion. From the gun, wants to pass. Finds the tight end. Such a big part to convert these third downs, and they've got it at the 42. Well, it's a nice job by the tight end there. He's patient, fights his way through all the traffic in the middle of the field, running that drag route, making it an easy completion for the quarterback. The Wolverines getting set on first and 10. Oh, it's a reverse. Just a savvy, veteran, productive run from this junior. And that is exactly why you stick to running the football. Haven't had a lot of success, but boom, you pop one, right? That's what you got to do. You, got, you cannot become one-dimensional and just throw the football every down. Love the offense, sticking to the run. Nice job getting the first down. Grabbed in the backfield, it's Morris. And good coverage by the defense, just a short game. After the run, second and medium. Leaves it with the back. And he'll make his way out of bounds after the solid pickup. I like it. Just frustrate the defense. Get that five to six yards. Make them honor the run. Make them know that you're willing to run the football and run it effectively. Coming to the line of scrimmage on third down. They'll try to bully their way for the first. Keeps the legs moving. They are on the move as they pick up the first down. They'll spot it at the 28. And this offense is clicking, everything's moving, and the guy carrying the football, I mean, he is carrying the rock. Like, this is a guy that's he's setting this tone for this game, creating some balance on this offense. This offense is going to be a handful. Yeah, David, I'd love to sit here and say, well, the offensive coordinator is just one step ahead of his counterpart across the field. That's not it. Right now, his offensive line is establishing the line of scrimmage, and you mentioned the back. He right now is running with authority on this drive. Right on target with that last pass. Now it's second and medium. He'll do it himself. They make the stop of this running game. Moves the change as they get the first down. Ooh, I like that option play. I'd keep running that, too, because it's obvious. The defense right now is really keying in on this running back. That was a big point of emphasis for them all week long in practice, and it's opening up holes now for the quarterback to run. And the Wolverines will try to punch it in on first and goal. They'll try to get it in with the run. And he's loose, and he'll take it to the house. Touchdown, Wolverines! That drive was what every father wants his daughter's romances to be like. Slow, take your time, drain the clock, no hurry at all. Some 
sometimes love is a slow burn. And that's what we just saw in that last drive. I am so impressed with the execution, and I love their ability to run the football. These players, they're coached up. They're coming out here, and they are executing exactly how their coaches prepared them to do in this game. They'll try to add another to their lead. And the extra point makes it 7 nothing. So that was a 10-play, 75-yard drive. And it was capped off with the 8-yard run. About to kick it away after scoring the touchdown. And he takes this from inside the 5. Nice job by the kickoff team. Everybody stayed in their lanes, and they'll stop him at the 16. Here comes the Fresno State offense onto the field. Boy, three and out last time, David. They'd like to be more productive this time around. Yeah, in the last drive, nothing really clicked. No rhythm. Got off the field really, really quickly. They need to put something together here, Palmer. Yeah, David, bad execution on that last drive. So they got to take a collective breath and start playing like a unit on this drive. And the Bulldogs want to move quickly. Quarterback on the keeper. Good pick up on the ground, and they'll mark him down at the 39. And when these quarterbacks run these zone reads, read options, whatever you want to call them, they have to put their eyes on a certain defender. And they're reading him. And basically, you can't be right. That's what makes it so hard to defend because if you do one thing, he's going to do the other. If you do the other thing, he's going to do the other. So good luck stopping him. And he gets it to the 45-yard line, and that'll be a first down. Yeah, this is simple pitch and catch. Quarterback and wide receiver have done this four million times in the offseason. He catches, waits for him to take a couple steps, boom, fires it right on his chest. They can complete this probably with their eyes closed. They've ran this route so many times together. Gives it to the back on the draw. And after the tackle, we are headed to the end of the first quarter. We've reached the end of the period, and Michigan has the lead. And we've come to the end of the first as we take a moment to check out the stats so far. Now to see if these guys can get back in the game as we open the second quarter. They try to pop a run on the draw. And he was able to run through one tackle, but still only a modest gain. When running backs square their shoulders up, it's when they have the most power. You see him square his shoulders up, break tackles, be strong, continue to plow his way forward, just making it really easy on everybody in this offense by breaking tackles. Here comes this home crowd as the defense tries to get off the field on third down. Steps away to find some room. How about that nice run from this junior quarterback? Well, he does a really nice job buying time, and I love the awareness there, understanding no one's open downfield, knowing where the sticks are, and he's able to use his athleticism to get that first down. Fresno State back to work with a fresh set of downs. Dropping back, it's Keen. Got his man quickly. And the defense settled in to stop that one for a short game. I tell you, this slot receiver, he really does give his quarterback a nice option. Runs really good routes. He's got nice hands. You saw it on that last play. Now on second down. Leaves it with the running back. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. Great team defense on that one play. Everybody doing their job. People winning their one-on-ones. D linemen staying in their gaps. Linebackers and DBs filling. You just can't do it better. They line up, and it is a long way to the sticks from here. They're trying to slow that rush down with the draw. And he's not going to make it. The defense denying him the first down.
And now on fourth down, they'll try a field goal. Everything will have to be clean from 55 yards away. That is no good. And they couldn't cut into the lead. It's still a seven-point game. And here comes the Michigan offense back on the field. That running game was impressive, taking them right down for a touchdown last time, David. Yeah, just mauling. No secret play calls, just simply we are more physical than you, and we're pounding the football right at you. So if you're on offense this next drive, take a look at their safeties and see if they're creeping up into the box. Because of your success running the football, this might be time to take a shot down the field and play action. The offense setting up shop at the 46, first and 10. Takes the handoff. It's Edwards. At the 35, he's got room. Oh, my goodness, he's still moving. Finally run out of bounds, but he has this offense rolling with a first down. You put on that winged helmet, and the one thing you want to do is establish the running game. And no matter who the coach is, no matter who the players are, it's a tradition. It's physicality. That's how they built this brand at Michigan. And I think no matter who's there, it's going to be how they continue to build on that tradition. They make the tackle after he gets two down to the 25. Oh, man, there's some big hitting going on in the trenches right now. This defense, they take a lot of pride in stopping the run. Let's keep our eye on them throughout the course of the game and see if they can contain this running attack. Picked up two yards on that last one. They need eight on second down. To the air. It's Orgy. Gets it out fast. Tackle is made after the first down. And this has got to be so demoralizing for this defense right now, having given up multiple first downs on this drive. Somebody on defense has to step up, make a play, and stop the bleed. They've moved to the 16. It's first and 10. They'll throw it from the red zone. With the catch, it's Loveland. And he laid the lumber to stop him from getting the first down. Well, another catch by the big fella. And, hey, this defense now on the second level, they've got to understand that they're going to see some play action. They can't keep biting on the fake. It's not easy to do. You've got to be aware of the tight end and his release. As soon as you see him get upfield, right now you know it's pass. So don't even worry about the fake. Get your eyes focused and find the big fella to go make a tackle or make a play on the ball. Snagged in the end zone. Touchdown, Michigan. Look, it's still early, but we have some real distance being put on the scoreboard right now. You do. It's early, but you got to find something positive. Right now, everything going in the other direction. So how are you going to respond when you've been hitting the mouth early in this football game? Got to find something positive quick. Now they'll line up for what they hope is automatic. And the extra point pushes the lead to 14. So that scoring drive took only six plays. And they finish it with an 11-yard touchdown dart. The kickoff team out there getting set. He'll bring it back from inside his five. And good work by the coverage team to knock down the return man. Fresno State takes over and the offense will go back to work. This is when the pressure can ramp up a little bit on an offense, David, when they start feeling the heat to answer a score. And I think being down 14, you can kind of feel that way. But, dude, if you put a good drive together, this is a seven-point game, so Palmer, no need to pay. I was just going to say, David, I mean, this thing can flip quick. You go down, score, all of a sudden your defense gets a stop, or who knows, better yet, gets a turnover. This game is entirely different. Looking for a physical attack from the gun. Makes the tackle at the 25 after a five-yard gain. 
you wonder now on offense, have they found something in the run game? Finally, it's been tough for them to get the run game going, but they picked up a nice gain on that last one. Let's see if they go back to it. The Bulldogs want to pick up the tempo. The give out of the gun. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. Well, the most insightful analysis I can come up with on that one is that didn't work. Back to the drawing board to see if there's something that works a little better soon. I wonder if I can quote the great Reese Davis. That was very ungood. Not a productive first down play. After losing a couple on that last play, here's second and 12. It'll be a draw. And they try to run inside, and there is nowhere to go. Defense is about firing off, hitting the offensive guys, and staying in your gaps. Everybody knowing where they're supposed to be. You could tell the defense, everyone was right where they're supposed to be, nowhere to run. Better find the ear plugged. Here comes the noise, backing this defense on third down. Scanning the field, it's Keen. Working the middle, it's complete. He ended up losing yardage on the play, and that'll bring up fourth down. I mean, getting suffocated right away. How about the DB? Just seeing that initially, pulling the trigger, getting to him, get him on the ground, get the tackle for him else. Fresno State will have to punt. This will be the second time they've had to kick it away. He gets a block. He'll get it up to about the 44-yard line before they slam the brakes on it. Guys, here come those maize and blue winged helmets on offense. They've jumped on them, executing at a high level and up 14-0, David. This is the exact start you want. And the offense is playing great. Defense has gotten stops. You're in a position now, Palmer, to put the hammer down and get a three-possession lead. I'm really impressed with their physicality on both sides of the ball early in this one. They've been winning in the trenches. So here on offense, keep running the football and show your dominance. We've reached the two-minute warning, and they will try to build on what has already been a dominant first-half performance. This offense has a second down play. He's looking to throw. Unloads to the wideout. Just goes right through the wicket and brings up third down. Man, he will be thinking about that one. Well, it's a good route by the wide receiver. He gets to the middle of the field. I think he just took his eyes off the football. Couldn't find his man last time. Now they'll have to convert third and four. From the gun, wants to pass. And they'll miss the connection here on third down. Defense did a great job. Third and short on the opponent's side of the field. They're expecting quick throw. Everybody, they dug their heel on the ground. They're able to break on the ball, force the incompletion. The Wolverines will try to pin them back with the punt. This will be the second time they've had to kick it away. No return coming. He'll call for the fair catch. Here comes the Fresno State offense onto the field. Getting late here in the first half, they'll have a chance to make this a one-possession game. And the offensive play caller here has to really be dialed in. It's important, down two possessions, Dave, that they're able to score some points. So you got to call your best stuff in this two-minute situation. And, and such a good opportunity to cut into a one-score game, create that momentum, get some good juices going for the second half, because obviously, you know, you built yourself a little bit of a deficit. You need some good things to happen, and it needs to happen on this possession. They'll try to kick it into overdrive. Clock's running. Second down coming. It's complete. Makes the grab, and it's enough for the first down before he's dragged to the ground. There's a timeout called as this offense tries to find a way to draw a little closer. They'll snap it from the 26 on first down. Back to throw. It's Keen. Got his man. Nice pitch and catch there, and they'll have enough for the first down. Well, it's a nice play design there. You're getting the running back involved in the pass game. Quarterback gives it to him early so he can go to work upfield and get the first down. Fresno State right back to the line. They'll throw it on first down. Pressure coming. And there was nowhere to go for this quarterback, and down he goes. 
We've got a timeout here late in the first half, and they'll try to get more points on the board before the break. On second down, he'll fire. Makes a grab, and he's dragged down. This defense is going to have to be careful. Not only do they have to worry about this guy running the football, but they've got to keep their eye on him when he runs routes, too. He is a versatile back. They'll hurry to the line here to try to get off that third down play. Looking to throw, and he needs a chunk play. And they got him for the sack. The defense going to stop the clock with the timeout. They want to make sure they have everybody on the same page. Third and long situation, we're bringing an extra DB on the field, and we're telling our front guys to pin your ears back and go get the QB, and they get the job done. Fourth down, and the punt team sends it the other way. Not going to risk a return here. Calls for the fair catch and makes it just around the 30-yard line. They're going to open this drive with a pass. And he just flat dropped it. I think he wanted to run before he secured it. Well, the tight end's a guy that's going to have to be able to make plays for this offense in the passing game. That time, QB looking for the big fella. He ran a good route, but just couldn't reel it in. Just a few seconds remaining here as they try to put something up before halftime. Looking downfield, it's Orgy. Throws to the wideout. Finds a man in the middle. We've got a timeout in the waning seconds of the half. Maybe a chance to get off a couple more plays. And they're running out the kicker to give it a try. And he rushes it right through the upright. It's good from 59. Well, that kid just showed off his hammer for a leg. Plus, and he did it with ease. So they get the late field goal right before the half and not much time after this kickoff for an answer. He'll start the return inside his five. They'll knock him down and that'll take us to halftime. We've played two quarters here. Time to go to Kevin Connors in our halftime update. Guys, it is tough to beat the big house when it's full and rocking as it is today in Ann Arbor. It's been a fun start to this one, and this offense has really been the story. They've opened up a sizable lead, and unless something drastic changes, things might get even more out of hand. A combination of lethal efficiency, and that offensive line has been the key. They've mauled that defense and also just about broken their will. And with that, Let's send it back to the guys in the big house. And the Wolverines will line up to kick off and start the second half. Here he comes from inside his own five. He was hoping for something a little more dynamic, but they get him on the ground at the 20. Fresno State takes over, and the offense will go back to work. When you're facing a deficit like this one to start the second half, you really can't afford to waste a single possession. Fresh start here in the second half is the only way you can look at this if you're on offense. Things did not go your way there in the first half. It starts with one play. To get our confidence going, we just got to get something going early here on this drive. One play, stay aggressive. Now, now I think I can be even more aggressive on fourth downs because obviously I've built a deficit. My defense has got to make some plays for me too. Couldn't connect on first down, now back to the air. This time he's got his man. And they'll finally get him down after a terrific pickup. After giving up a few extra yards after a hitch throw, I wonder if this defense is going to want to give this guy this much access moving forward. They might be thinking about more press coverage or playing some zone coverage where the corner's right up on. With the first down, they'll put it in play from the 33. Quick completion to the right. And I love working the slot receivers. You see so much of that. It's about matchups, right? I can put a fast guy in that slot, maybe get him matched up on a linebacker or a safety. I like working those guys in those matchups. Favorable for the offense, for sure. Let's see what they've got on second down. Wide receiver shows motion. Power football with the run. 
They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. You know, the runner just has to have a little bit more patience and bounce that thing outside a little too early, and as a result, lost yards. And the Bulldogs will hustle to the line. And they make the tackle, but he has plenty for the first down. And on third down, he calls his own number. Really nice job by the quarterback, making the decision, being decisive. He does a good job going, getting the first down, a new set of downs for this offense. Fresno State moving it quickly down the field. They go to the draw. Not a whole lot of room there. Three yards, maybe. Second and seven. You know, it's so important for offenses to want to keep third downs manageable. The way you do that is by having success like that, running the football on first down. Got three on first down at second and seven. The give to the tailback. Able to pick his way forward for a decent game before the defense gets him down. It's a nice game, but the big theme here is they just haven't been able to get the run game going on offense. They've been very one-dimensional, and they're just not being physical enough at the point of attack. Defense showing plenty of pre-snap movement of their own. Guys, this offense is already reeling down. Multiple possessions really need to cash in on this drive. He'll pull it on the read. They were all over him, nowhere to go as that third down play turned into a disaster. They're trying to go option, and they're trying to put that defensive end in a bind, but he's just way too athletic, and he guessed right. The quarterback was keeping the ball, he knew it, and was able to make the tackle in the backfield. Fourth down, and the punt team sends it the other way. Michigan ready to get that offense rolling again. You want to talk about having a weapon to bail out a drive? David, that's why kickers are so important after that long field goal. Yeah, and listen, important is a relative term. We need to make longer passes and get better gains so we don't have to kick long field goals, Palmer, again on offense. And they've got the weapons to do that, David. They just got to be able to dial those plays up. Guys have to be able to make them one-on-one -on -one to make life easier on this kicker who is so important to this team. They feed him again. Pretty good job of running to get two there to the 32. They plow ahead with the run, but still more ground needed to pick up the first down. Third down coming. Dropping back, it's Orgy. Fires to the wideout. Got his man downfield. Open runway ahead. Inside the 10. Touchdown, Wolverines. And the pummeling has started. When these offenses get in a the rhythm, they're hard to stop. Already up early. Got a short field. Take advantage of it, too. Get another touchdown. This offense is doing whatever they want to do and having a lot of success. PAT unit on the field. And with the extra point, they push the lead out a little further. Quick strike offense on that three-play scoring drive. And they finish things off with a big play. 68 yards on the touchdown pass. Kickoff team has the ball teed up, and they're about ready to go. Not a chance he lets that one go. He's bringing it out. And the returner will be knocked down. Here comes the Fresno State offense onto the field. Their drive chart is starting to look a little monotonous. Punt, 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 David. And their defense is starting to get a little frustrated, too. They just keep putting me back on the field, possession after possession. Jesse, this offense needs to get their heads out of there, you know what. 
The punter's on the sideline with the oxygen mask right now. He's been playing so much. He's not used to this. This offense, they just got to stay on the field. They got to put a drive together and get some balance going, running and throwing the ball. Finds his man. It's Moss. They make the stop, but not before he takes a chunk out of what they need to move the sticks. In the slant route, you got to put that foot in the ground and cut in in a hurry so you can create a little bit of separation from that cornerback and a nice job with the concentration, plucking that football, pulling it in. They're about to wear this punter out. He's already been out four times, staring at a fifth if they can't move the chains. This is a point where you just got to be able to focus. And the critical down and distances in this game, like that third down right there, when it's a good throw, you got to make the catch. You got to be able to make that play. Fresno State will have to punt it away. They've been busy out there to punt for the fifth time today. Another punt on the way. Got to make sure those hammies and glutes all activated. Don't want any muscle pulls from overuse. And here comes the Michigan offense back on the field. From the gun, the running back looking for room. After the three-yard pickup, they come to the line second and seven. Keeps it on the bootleg. Unloads to the wideout. And a flag flies as the pass is incomplete. Let's see who it's on. The officials offer the deal, and the coach accepts it. They will take the penalty. Looking to throw, it's Orgy. And that's going to be incomplete. A lot of contact on the play, but no flags. It'll be third down. And that's where quarterbacks, you know, they got to be very assertive. They got to believe what they see and really pull the trigger. But the longer they wait and they get off rhythm or off timing, a lot of times it ends up in incomplete passes. Third down conversions are a huge stat, and this one would be a doozy if they can pull it off. And the quarterback is snowed under. On third and long, you know what's coming. That's exactly where you want to get an offense. The passing game has to come out. You go nickel, bring some more speed on the field, and the defensive line gets home and gets the sack to force the fourth down. The Wolverines will punt this one away. Three and out and not much choice but to get rid of the ball. Fair catch is made, but there is laundry on the deck, so we might be having a do-over. So the decision has been made, and the coach will take the penalty. So the offense keeps his drive alive thanks to the roughing the punter penalty. Caught over the middle. It's Morris. When you get man coverage, you definitely like taking advantage of the inside really quickly. Running a nice slant rack real quick, being physical, getting on the inside, quarterback putting it right on the money. That last completion sets him up on second down. On the ground, it's Edwards. Just a solid stop by this sophomore. Offense breaks the huddle on third down. They move the tight end all over. On third and short, they'll ride the running back here. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. Yeah, when you get penetration by that defense right away, and there's no way to cut at all for that back, he gets destroyed right away. No way that play was going to be successful. Way too much penetration. And the Wolverines send out the punt unit. Not going to take a chance to grab that one as it bounces out of bounds. Fresno State takes over and the offense will go back to work. 
That last drive won't go on the highlight reel after ending. Couldn't find any way to get out of the end zone, and they get him for a safety. You could tell the defense smelled it. They knew exactly where they were on the field, put the pressure on him, got him down in the end zone. Safety, baby. They'll boot it away from their own 20 after taking the safety. And the offense back on the field, ready to dial up ball plays. Pulled and finds his man on the left. And a good job of coverage by that defense, just a short pickup. It's hard to have success on wide receiver screens when you're facing press man coverage because your blockers out front oftentimes can't pick them up and that receiver gets gobbled up as soon as he catches the pass. You saw it on that last play. Offense gets set for second down. Looking for a crease, it's Edwards. And they'll bring him to the ground after a short gain. We'll see if they go back to the run here on third down. Looking for a man. It's Orgy. Steps to his left, out of the pocket. And he scoots his way to the first down and then slides to avoid the hit. We've reached the end of the period, and Michigan has the lead. And they've built a comfortable lead after three quarters of play. Let's take a look at how we've gotten here. One more period to go, and we'll see just how much fight they've got left in them. The Wolverines come to the line with a new set of downs. Little touch pass to the receiver. And he finds some solid space, makes a nice game before the defense is able to stop him. Now on second down, after the good first down run. To the ground with the back. And they'll bring him down, but not before he picks up the first down. Well, the offense knew what they needed to get that first down, so they dial up the running play, and they get just enough to keep the drive alive. And the Wolverines are on the move. They'll ride the hot hand. Just keeps picking up the tough yards and gets it down to the 26. Yeah, and that's exactly what you want to do. Late in the ball game with the lead, establish the run, establish the physicality. And you know what helps? That clock up there, it continues to tick. So let's see if they choose to keep the ball on the ground and stay conservative and run that clock. Now the play fake. Fires left. He's got an open man. Gets it inside the five, down to the four, and it'll be first and goal. They are in no mood to show any mercy as they keep flexing their muscle on offense. Up big in the fourth quarter, and you just keep taking shots down the field. That tells you something, okay? You can take what you want from it, but this offense definitely not interested in running clock, interested in making a point. Touchdown, Michigan! And the beatdown has ensued. And this always is the debate of where you fall. It's your job to stop me or I should get concerned. Because this offense obviously has had themselves a day. And apparently, their day's not over. They're going to continue to keep scoring. And the defense better do something about it. Lining up to tack one more onto that lead. And with the extra point, the lead is even bigger. 
They marched 56 yards to the end zone, and they finished it off with the score from the four. Almost ready to kick it away after scoring the touchdown. On the move from inside is five. Really disciplined job by the coverage unit to get down there and make the stop at the 19. Here comes the Fresno State offense onto the field. And the last time they had the ball, they wound up giving up a safety, Jesse. Yeah, that was ungood the last time they had the ball. So they got to do something here offensively to get into a rhythm, running and throwing the football. Try to find that consistency, Dan. And try to find something positive with this offense. Forget about the safety. Those don't happen very often. Try to get some first downs together. Get some good mojo going. Lining up from the 34 on first down. To throw. It's Keen. They've got the screen set up. Didn't have much room to run and not a whole lot of help. Short game there and still plenty of ground to cover for the first down. Michigan stole their winged helmets and possibly their fight song from Princeton, but they are giving an Ivy League level education and defense today. Yeah, and stealing their hearts, just ripping them out, not, not giving them anywhere to go, no life. This offense has no answers because Michigan's out there just destroying them, giving them a education. Really confident throw and catch there. Big pickup, and they have a first down. And there was no question in that scenario. That's where the quarterback was going. He knew he had his receiver in a matchup that he liked, running a route where he would find himself open. Nice job between those two. To the air on first down. Pulls it in. It's Moss. Knocked down immediately, but a nice pickup on that one. You just get the feeling this defense is going to make it hard on them, right? They've got the lead. It's late. And they're going to try to tackle everybody inbounds. Offense is going to have to really work for this and be smart. you got to attack the sidelines. you got to throw first down. You've got to keep this thing moving vertically down the field. He's looking for an open man on second down. He'll throw it. Fires into traffic. Picked off. He was trying to get that return going instead. He'll hand it to his offense at the 38. And as a defensive lineman late in the game, man, when you know it's passed, you're pinning your ears back, trying to get to the quarterback. And DBs are trying to do this. Add them stats, get the INT. Nice job by this DB. Guys, here come those maize and blue winged helmets on offense. On that last drive, defense had no idea what was happening, run or pass, and it wound up in the end zone, Jesse. Yeah, you saw the experience in this offense that last drive, too, on that touchdown. Everybody on the same page. These guys have repped these plays over and over in practice and in games, and it's working. Man. Yeah, so I got to find a way to disrupt it. I, I got to find a way to maybe be more aggressive, maybe blitz, mess up this rhythm they got going. And now on second down for this offense. Looking to throw, it's Orgy. He'll try to do it himself. Picks up the first down and gets down to avoid contact. I love the play call there, too, because second and short, defense is thinking you might run it. So you try to catch him off guard with the pass. Nothing there. Even if you throw an incompletion, you're going to have a chance to run it the very next play, but it doesn't matter. This guy's just so athletic himself. He's able to go get the first. Let's get a fresh set of downs. They go to the ground. Able to scrounge three yards out of that one somehow. It's second and seven. Got a little work done on first down. Now back to the line. They'll try to keep this clock moving on the ground. That's what you expect from a senior. Don't give them any extra yards. Great tackle there. Lining up to convert third down. From the gun, wants to pass. Grabbed in the middle, it's Moore. 
Now well within striking distance as that third down play gets him a first at the 29. And it's tough on the defense there. Third down, you're in zone coverage. Everybody's watching the quarterback, and you're trying to make a break on the ball, but he just got it out of his hands too quickly, and the throw was too accurate. Really nothing you can do there, and it's now a fresh set of downs. We reached the two-minute warning, and this offense is that much closer to salting away a victory. The Wolverines have this offense rolling. Gonna run it. It's Edwards. And he has a solid game before the defense bottles him up. After the productive first down play, it's second and six. The give to the back. He almost punched it in for six. They'll get him down at the one-yard line. Really been impressed by the balance we've seen from this offense so far in the game, but I think you got to give a lot of the credit to the running game because it's been able to freeze these defenses, help set up play action. They've been physical at the point of attack. I think that really has been the key force for this offense so far, having the success they've had. ahead and they're going to score again yet another touchdown as they just add to their total man this has been a complete performance the defense has been lights out and the offense obviously just continues to pour it on this is what you call having a great day putting it all together offense defense complimentary football They'll try to add another to their lead. The kick is up and good and put one more on the lead. That drive covered 62 yards for the touchdown. And they capped it off with a one-yard plunge. Lining up to cover the kick after that touchdown drive. On the run from inside his own five. Nice job by the kickoff team. Everybody stayed in their lanes, and they'll stop him at the 16. Fresno State takes over, and the offense will go back to work. They'll crank up this drive with the pass. This thing got out of hand on them, but they'll try to finish with some pride here. And this one was a beatdown, and there's nothing you can do about it because this one's over. Jesse, now we got to start progressing for next week, for the rest of this season, so we don't let one bad game turn into two. Yeah, there are very few teams out there that won't watch game film, but they may want to skip this one. I mean, because it may <laughs> hurt their confidence. They just need to turn the page and get ready for the next opponent and forget this day ever happened. And the pass is incomplete thanks to a big hit. This defense has just been all over this guy all game long, under pressure. They're finding a way to get to him and affect his rhythm. Of course, they have an interception in this game. That's why they've got a big lead here in the fourth quarter. This guy has never gotten into a rhythm. Not exactly the ideal situation for this offense. Third and long, backed up inside their 20. This time on target. And the defense makes the immediate tackle, but he has enough for the first down. Well, this offense has not put their best product on the field today. They've got no points to show for any of their efforts so far, but they've still got a chance. But if it's going to happen, it has to happen now in this two-minute situation. This is where their playmakers need to step up. He's got the tight end. And he's down after the short completion. He did not make it to the first down marker. 